हेलो एवरी वन माई नेम इज रिंकू वर्किंग एज एन असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मैनेजमेंट टूडे वी आर डिस्कस अबाउट द टॉपिक दैट इज लर्निंग लर्निंग इज ए साइकोलॉजिकल प्रोसेस इट हैज द कैपेसिटी एंड कैपेबिलिटी टू मॉडिफाई द बिहेवियर ऑफ ह्यूमन बींग वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट करेक्टरिस ऑफ ह्यूमन बींग द कैपेसिटी टू लर्न आवर पर्सनैलिटी आवर हैबिट्स स्किल्स नॉलेज एटीट्यूड एंड इंटरेस्ट एफ लार्जली रिजल्ट ऑफ लर्निंग फॉर एग्जाम्पल ए पर्सन मोड ऑफ ड्रेस हिस एटीट्यूड एंड इज वे ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन आर ऑल लर्न आफ्टर लर्निंग ए पर्सन रिस्पोंडेंट बिहेव इन ए डिफरेंट मैनर दैन ही परफॉर्मली इन फॉर्मली यूज डू इट इन दिस वे लर्निंग हेल्प इन इम्प्रूविंग द बिहेवियर ऑफ द इम्प्लॉयज इन कंटिन्यूसली learning is the act of acquiring of new and reforming and uh, modifying existing knowledge our habits our knowledge our behave value and may involving all type and different type of information they are virtual importance in helping the individual adopting the environment definition of learning the term learning cover every modification in behavior to meet environmental requirement learning has taken place if the individual behave and respond and result in the different way wps johnsons nature of learning learning there are some important feature of learning which are as following first one learning is a systematic and continuous process second one it leads to change in behavior it involving all those experiments and experience and training of individual which have to change behavior third one learning must be reflect in behavior learning prepare the individual to adjust and adapted to in situation and third fourth one learning is a positive and negative learning is universal and continuously process learning through direct and indirect experience and six one it is a continuation and never ending process that goes from the one and term and last one there must be a permanent change process of a learning step in in learning process learning process is carry over through various step according to the hp smith first one motive second one attractive goal third one block to the attainment of the goal first one motive motive are the dynamic force the compile an individual to act the direction of motive depends up to relative strength of motive unsatisfy motives or needs compile the individual should to satisfy them which are initial learning to something second one an attractive goal for the satisfaction of the needs in the in individual set define goals for achievement the setting of goal help is making the learning and purposeful and interesting if the individual face no difficulty in attaining goal he will not change his present behavior this means is no necessary to learn if block or barrier obstruct to individual to reach a goal then in the individual will try to change in behavior means something to change his behavior to reach the goal and some other step involving of the learning first one reinforcement if the response is the successful in action and satisfy the needs on the subsequent occasion of the individual will tend to repeat it integration or also addition the individual integrating the successfully response with the individual previous learning show that become a part new function of 